Hey guys, this is Bears at 755 and thanks for joining us today. Like most of you as a kid, I asked a lot of questions. I was curious about everything. I needed to know why this and why that, and I was always asking how do you get from point A to point B, and what are all of the steps in between? And I think that natural curiosity brought me to the point where I wanted to know how one creates success. What do we need to do to be successful? And I don't mean the minutia of being successful. What I'm talking about is on a grand scale, in the big scheme of things, what is it that we need to do so that we are successful in every venture that we take on? So here's what I'm talking about. Most people, I believe, do things backwards. And backwards really doesn't work. I mean, if you were going to build a home and you built the roof first and the foundation last, I don't think that would work. I'm pretty sure about it, in fact. I've never built a home, but I'm pretty certain about it. So we want to make sure we do things in the proper order. What I believe most people do is they act first. And the action is supposed to be the last thing. That's the last thing you do. And here's what I mean by that. If you act first and you don't really make a decision, you haven't really decided yet to take that action and bring it across the finish line 100%, you're unlikely to succeed. And if you make a decision without a real true belief that you can accomplish what it is you're setting out to accomplish, you're unlikely to continue. So the first thing you need to act upon, or the first thing you need to do, is to get that belief in yourself. Now many of you have that feeling where, that guy could do it, but this guy can't. Those people are successful, that's not who I am. I'm not a successful person, I'm your average normal person. If that's you, you need to work on yourself first. Because I'm here to tell you that anybody, anybody can reach whatever heights of success that they choose to reach. That's up to you. That's not up to other people. So you've got to work on yourself first to firm up your belief in yourself. Because I believe we all, as Les Brown says, we all have greatness within us. So the first part of that belief is to work on yourself so that you believe in yourself. The second part to cement that in clearly for yourself is educate. Whatever it is the topic is, maybe you want to learn to uh, trade in the stock market or perhaps it's to be a real estate holder or maybe just a new class you want to take or it's a needlepoint. Needlepoint is what you want to learn. Whatever it may be, a new job, a new career, you've got to educate yourself. So believe you can accomplish it first. Believe you are that person who can accomplish whatever they set out to do and then educate yourself. Once you've done that, you've built that foundation for yourself and you're ready to move to the next step, which is, which is to decide. Webster Dictionary says that decide means that you will act upon something and bring it to its conclusion. So you've already decided, made a decision what the conclusion is. You already know what that conclusion is. So I'll ask you, if you already know what the conclusion is, doesn't that make it a lot easier to act upon it? I think it does. I know if I already know when I go to buy a lottery ticket that I know I'm going to win, I'll buy a lottery ticket every single time. Now we're not talking about the lottery here, but we are talking about real life, true life events that occur. So you've got to believe in yourself enough to make that firm decision that you are not turning back. And what I'm talking about when I say not turning back, I mean a burn the boats type of decision that I'm going forward at all costs. I'm not turning back. I've decided because I know what the outcome is going to be. I know there will be turbulence along the way. But no matter what, I am going to continue to move forward. And that will cause you to act. And continue to act until you cross the finish line. Now here's what I believe when you have all three of those things working in tandem. When you start to act and you begin to have results, that will cause you to believe even more. The more you believe, the stronger that decisive decision will be to continue to act. And that just feeds like a whirlwind around and creates that success that has been so elusive your entire life. Believe, then decide, then act. That's our message for today. If you like this message today, please feel free to comment and like and share this message. It would certainly be appreciated. 
And remember, like baby, motivation doesn't last. That's why we need to do both every day. This is Baird's Jane and saying thanks for joining us, and we'll see you again next week.